Number two. Very good. Thank you for teaching us about glaucoma and your vision. A speech is broken up into three parts. You have the introduction, the message, and then the conclusion. Your introduction was wonderful. It caught everybody. When you start saying that 300 or 3 million people have it, 50% don't know it. We could probably be one of those 50% not know it. I was so right in the beginning, which is a good way to start a speech. The next part was the discussion of message. Most messages, when you give a message, are really two types. One are journey. People take a journey. And the other one is educational. Yours was an educational speech. It was meant to teach us something, to learn from that. And there's a certain structure on how that is done. And you did it with a PowerPoint. And the way you use the PowerPoint, there are some pluses and minuses. The plus I'll start with, when you do the PowerPoint, some people what they do is they look at it. They just stare at it or maybe they'll look down at it. You were very good at how you use the PowerPoint. You stood to the side, you pointed, and you looked at it. You went through it. That's how you want to use a PowerPoint. Very good. I thought that was a really great way to do it. A couple of things I would recommend that if I was doing this with a PowerPoint, you guys have to be really confident in its use. When you struggle with it in the beginning, it really detracts from the whole presentation. So once you got that going, it was very good. The other thing with PowerPoint, you have to be very careful. When you give a PowerPoint, it's always good to also have a handout. I thought some wonderful handouts would have been an evaluation, how do you evaluate, and then how do you prevent it. The handout, rather than the PowerPoint, would have been much useful for everyone here. I think that would really have helped us a lot. The other thing with your presentation, I think it was very good. You got a lot of deans. You noticed the deans. And you might not realize this, the deans came when you started speeding up. When you talk faster, you started putting in filler words. The way you prevent filler words is you slow down. You slow down. And you have pauses. And that eliminates those deans. The other thing when you give an educational speech, one other thing I hope you would do next time you do this, is start out with your credentials. You have to develop credibility. When you give an educational speech, you have to know, everyone wants to know who you are and why we should even listen to you. So start with that. And then try and build in more personal stories of people that have suffered with this and how what you've done has changed. And then finish with a strong end. The finish, very, very important. When we walk away from here, we want to think about what you said and changes. You've heard many of this in our table topics and in other speeches. We walk away with something. And that would be a great opportunity for you. But I look forward to a future speech. Thank you very much.